So we've been writing some test code for remove and uh, remove with an index. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and test all the different possibilities. So I have that same oatmeal, strawberries, burger, coleslaw, straw, berries, burger, coleslaw, uh, print it out after we're done adding them. And then let's go ahead and do some removes. So I already have done the negative one. Let's print out something far more useful. Let's start remove index. All right, I'm gonna write extra uh, expecting a index out of bounds exception. So this will be a little more informative and then caught, put extra space in there. And we'll run this. I want this to look good because I'm about to duplicate it and then modify the value of index. All right, so we see our list. Now, obviously I'm not really explicitly testing add very much. I just added four things. I knew it worked, uh, so I'm really just testing remove now. You're gonna have to test your other methods as well. I'm just focused on the remove right now. So attempting list remove negative one, expecting a index out of bounds exception, caught uh, this, and da, 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 so that's a good error message. Uh, and then this is the list after the operation occurred, which should be unchanged because I gave a bad index. All right, so let's go and try some other, and we need to label this in our code here, testing bad indexes. I know it's indices, but I'm going with indexes. All right. I want this to be self-contained here, so I'm gonna declare index and then set the value to negative one right before. Now as to what should go inside the try, I could totally put the index in equals negative one in there, totally fine. Um, and that may be preferred because it's maybe a little more obvious that uh, I'm setting index to one as part of all of this. So we're just gonna duplicate this, boom, and index. So, Let's see, I'm gonna go with size. So that'll be list.size. Now, size should be four, and well, I didn't even test size. Probably should test it first. All right, it's untested, so I'm just gonna put four in here uh, because that's what size should be. I don't wanna rely on something that may not be working. And now I'm gonna to try to remove it index four and it should print out something really similar to what it did the first time. And it will also print what it did up here. All right, so it's tempting. All right, I'm also gonna label this in the print statement. Bad indexes and remove. I'll space out a little more and make it look nice. Probably should go throw another new line here. So here we go, testing bad indexes. We caught our index out of bounds exception and it was negative one, perfect, and should be between zero and four. All right, now I don't really like th this message because it really should say zero at three uh, on this particular lab, I'm not gonna ding you for being off by one on your uh, your message inside your exception. So that's, that's fine if it's off by one for now. All right, then I 
try to remove at four and got the index out of bounds exception and should be between zero and size minus one. So this one actually prints out the right information. And so why do I print out list twice? Well, I was using a bad index, so I should not be actually successfully removing any of these elements because none of them are at index negative one and none of them are at index four. So I should not be removing them. And by printing it out twice, I make sure that I didn't actually remove one of them out of here. Uh, now, again, I didn't test any size here, so you probably should make sure size did not get decremented, did not go down by one each time when we unsuccessfully called remove. So this is how to test the boundary cases. So negative one is the largest, how's the best way to describe this? It's the largest non-valid value. So zero through three would be valid for this. Uh, and if you're outside zero through three, negative one's the first integer outside of that that's smaller. And four would be the first integer outside of the zero to three that's larger. So these are the edge cases. You can also throw in a uh, larger one than four. So we'll just do maybe like eight will be fine or 10. Doesn't really matter. It is important that you did one right on the boundary and one right on the other boundary. It's called boundary testing. Uh, but down here, it's not really that important. And we can do one that's even more negative. All right, after this, uh, I'll be satisfied with, this will be good enough for all of the bad indexes on remove. I didn't test any of the good ones. You saw me go through it, but in the test code, I don't have any testing of the good ones. Uh, so you're gonna need to go through and put in testing the good indexes on remove. All right, so there we go. I feel good about this. So these are all the bad ones. And of course, list is not changing. All right, there's another remove method you have to test. And oh, another thing I didn't test is trying to call remove on an empty list. Uh, so if you try to call it on empty list, you should be getting an index out of bounds exception, I think. And the way we can know that for sure, here we call remove, navigate, go to declaration. Here we go. Oh, that took us right to the, so this is the interface. Uh, so that's a brief description and we, implemented this operation, this method, so we won't see that. Uh, so I think if we have an empty list, the size will be zero. And so index will equal, if index is zero, it'll equal size. So you should get an index out of bounds exception for any index on an empty list. A uh, quick way to test that. Here's the try catch. All we really need to exist, well, we need the uh, index to exist. So we'll just bring that way up. I don't think we need element, but just in case. Now let's bring that way up right after the list. Before we add anything, now I'm going to paste in that code. I'll put in zero. There's not enough print. Uh, there's, I probably should label this with a print statement above it, but we know where it came from. All right, no pointer exception. All right, that should not have happened. So now there's a problem in my code. So here, here's the method that caused that to be to happen. All right, so I'll deal with this in the next video. This one's long enough.